Hey, what's up guys? Pokemon Freak here and today we're going to talk about the process of engineering. So as you guys can see here, I'm starting off at a Town Hall 6, but I'm going to explain to you guys what I did to get here. The first thing you guys are going to want to take care of is your pumps and your storages. So you guys could hold more loot and your pumps are the biggest source of income. And with your pumps maxed out, you're going to be making more than what you're losing because as an engineered base, you do get raided and they do take a lot of loot. And as you guys can see here, I'm just maxing out my final two pumps that I unlocked at Town Hall 6. And as you guys go, make sure you guys be upgrading stuff because when you get to a higher level, it gets harder to collect your loot so as you guys can see here i'm maxing everything out as i go on my laboratory right now i'm gonna max out my lightning spells because as soon as i hit town hall 7 i want to lock dragons so i could do dragon raids and my priorities as a town hall 7 is gonna be to build my walls first and then my traps after that it's up to you guys to see what you guys want to build next but i'm gonna start off on my two teslas and on my fourth camp and then after that i'm gonna upgrade my laboratory so i could start working on my dragons the last thing you guys want to do is upgrade your collectors and storages simply because two million is more than enough to get you through town hall 7. also with your pumps and collectors max out they pump out a good amount of resources and well something i forgot to tell you guys at the beginning is don't spend your gems on anything because you will need them to build your builders and later on at Town Hall 9 to gem your queen. Alright guys, now let's skip to Town Hall 8. So as you guys can see, I built all my traps and walls first again. I didn't build my king with this account, but that's going to be one of my priorities. And as you guys will notice, the first thing I upgraded as soon as I went to Town Hall 8 was my clan castle. My next thing that I'm going to work on is my dark spell factory. And then after that, I'm going to work on my level 3 dragons. Now, level 3 dragons shouldn't be so hard to get simply because just buying the one weak shield will give you 3 million to upgrade your dragons to level 3. Also, before you guys move on, to your next town hall make sure you max everything else i'm gonna start off by maxing out my teslas and my traps because at town hall 8 is where you get the best loot especially if you're engineered i recently made a video about it it's called encountering dead bases slash high loot profit if you guys want to check it out and save your pumps and collectors till the end because again at level 10 they pump out a good amount of elixir and gold and also because they take a long time to upgrade and that's the last thing you will actually want to get remember make sure you max out before you move on to town hall 9 because at town hall 9 it's a bit trickier to get loot so as you guys can see i already hit 5 million gold and basically i got that by getting the one week shield as soon as i hit 2 million gold and that gave me enough to upgrade my clan castle the clan castle should have been one of my first priorities but i spent my gold all upgraded in my teslas but as you guys can see i maxed out my teslas and traps so your first priority as a town hall 9 is to upgrade your spell factory simply so you could hold four spells because the more spells you could hold the better it is and after that you could just take care of your camps as you guys can see here i'm upgrading my camp when you get to this point you should be able to take out town hall nines and war so you should be getting a good amount of loot the last thing you should do is to upgrade your laboratory simply because you don't need to upgrade it. You should max everything else out first with your elixir before you jump into upgrading your troops at this point because level 3 dragons should be enough. And also right now my next priority is going to be to upgrade my dark elixir storage so I can unlock my queen. And as far as your dark spell factory goes, you only need the earthquake spells. You don't really need to go any higher than that. All right, guys, now let's jump on to my Town Hall 10. So as a Town Hall 10, my first priority, again, it was my spell factory. My spell factory will always be my first priority simply because the more spells I can hold, the better. Now, the whole reason I told you guys to max out at Town Hall 8 and 9 was because when you get to Town Hall 10, it gets a little more complicated to raid. Because if you take a look at my troops, they're pretty much weak. And I can't do a dragon raid in just raiding or in war because I end up losing more loot than I've gained loot. And how I got my inferno was the same way I got my clan castle to level 5. Basically, I just looted till I had 2 million. And then after that, I just activated my one weak shield. At this point, as a town hall 10, there isn't really much to upgrade besides taking your stuff to the next level. Because the only really important thing to upgrade would be your camps and your spell factory. But aside from that, you pretty much have everything. Because you don't really need to take your Teslas to the next level. At level 6, they should be fine. Because at level 6, it's a one-shot kill for the barbarians and the archers. And as for your traps, those shouldn't be hard to upgrade or to get the loot to upgrade them. And everything else, well, it's just upgrading your troops and your barracks and stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, if you found this helpful, f please hit that like button. If you don't want to miss my next video, hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching. Pokemon Freak out.